Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will discuss relay logic motor control line diagram. This is the line diagram for the motor control relay logic. This is the positive line. This is the negative line. Current flows from here to here. This is the stop switch, which is normally closed switch. Current can flow through this. And here, this is the start switch, which is normally open. And normally, it is the push button. Current can't flow through this. When we press this switch turn, it will be turned on then current can flow through this to this motor this motor is connected with this contactor and current can pass through this contactor when current passes through this contactor this contactor will become energized and it's this contact this contact will be closed this is the normal open contact of this contactor it will be closed so when we release this switch the current can also pass through this path to the motor so it is just used to start the motor but it is the push button when we release it the current have an alternate path to flow to the motor by this way so then motor will be in the running condition motor will perform its working and till to the uh, it's a limited value of current and voltages when the current flows above the limit both the range of this motor's winding uh, current and voltages flow over the prescribed range of this motor then this overload relay will become active and it will turn it, its 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 coil will be energized and it will turn off this switch which is the overload relay switch and this the whole process will be terminated in this way motor will be protected by this overload overload relay contactor here overload contactor here this is the overload contactor so in this way we will use this switch as the top switch and we will use this as switch as the start switch for the process of the motor for the function of the motors and the motor will perform its function it's working to it perform its duty till to the till to the its prescribed range of current and voltages when the current and voltages prescribed voltages are reached and when current flows over the value prescribed then this overload protective contactor will turn off the whole process to protect this motor from burning so this is used for the protection of this motor here relay logic motor control with delay timer in this process we also use a timer turn on a motor how it, it works the process is the same this is the positive line this is the negative line this is the stop switch which is normally closed and when this is the closed switch then current can pass through this to the this point this is the normal open switch here when we press this switch it will be turned on then current can flow through this to this point and this is the timer's contact which is normally open then current can flow through this point to the timer then the timer will take its time for example 50 seconds 40 seconds after the prescribed time after the dedicated time it will its its coil will be energized this is the timer its coil will be energized and its contact will be closed here it will be it will make its contact and the current can flow through this to the motor then the motor will turn on motor is turned on it means that this contactor, this contactor, motor is connected with this contactor, the motor will be energized. So when current passes through this motor, this contactor, it will be energized and its normally open contact is connected here, parallel to this start switch. So when this contactor is energized, then this, then the current can have alternative path to flow to the motor here. When this timer is energized, it will close this, this open switch. It will be this switch will be closed then current can flow through this to the this to, to the motor here so motor will perform its functions this is the stop start switch this is the stop switch when we want to stop the process we will press this switch the whole process will be terminated but when we start when we click on the start button it the the function of the whole process will start its working so the motor will be in the running condition till this overload contactor becomes active when the motor drags more current than then it's required current then it's prescribed current then it is the probability that the motor will its winding will be in danger and it, it, it may it may burn due to this this overload relay will become active and it, it it's it will be energized and it will turn this switch open then this switch will become open the whole process will terminate it this is the productive device this is the productive contactor here it is used to, to is, it is used to protect the motor from burning so this is the process in which we can use different kinds of switches uh, in the relay logic motor control with delay timer this is the delay timer it will provide specific delay in starting this motor for example it, if, if it provides two minute delay then the motor will start after two minutes if, if, if it is providing 50 seconds delay then the motor will start after 50 seconds delay. Thank you so much for watching this video.